this example which comes under type problem manufacturing problem the name mean nothing we just need to study, read the question understand it and use the graphical method to solve it so question says a manufacturing company take, makes two models A and B of a product so there is A and B of a product uh, each piece of model requires 9 labor hours so number of hours hours required is 9 for 1 and this required 12 hours of labor and 3 hours 3 hours labor for fabricating and this needs one, 9 hours for fabricating and 1 hour for finishing similarly it gets 3 hours for finishing the maximum labor hours available are 180 and 30 respectively so 180 and 30 that is this is uh, for labor uh, fabricating this is for finishing so these two are for finishing these are for fabricating and the maximum of this is 180 and maximum of this is 30 the company makes a profit of rupees 8000 on each piece of model A so profit is 8000 on A and 12,000 on each piece of model B. How many pieces of model A and model B should be manufactured per week? To realize a maximum profit, what is a maximum profit per week? So, per week, week means uh, so we are asked per week what is a maximum profit. This is for one. Let's say we manufacture x units of model a and y units of model b for week and uh, we are given that uh, in a week the maximum labor hours available are 180 and 30 uh, for this and so that means 9x plus 12y must be less than 180 and uh, similarly 9x less than or equal to and similarly 1x plus 3y less than or equal to 30 so this will simply become 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 60 so we have one, one constraint 3x plus 4y less than 60 another constraint x plus 3y less than 30 and uh, finally we are asked uh, profit function that is uh, profit will be equal to uh, simply 8000 x plus 12000 y this is profit so profit is equal to this much and we are asked to uh, find the maximum profit that can be uh, brought per week so what we have is we have two constraints and we also know that uh, both x and y are can be positive only it can they can't be negative so x y both uh, greater than or equal to zero so this is these are the equations which we known and we are asked to maximize profit or simply i will write this as p we need to maximize p and uh, conditions on x and y are given by these things this is one this is two and this is three three constraints and one uh, p to maximize so let's uh, draw a, this can be used to, uh, sorry so i'll using graphical method so i'll draw, draw a graph now and the graph looks like this is what the graph looks like uh, this one is a 3x plus 4y equal to 60 line and uh, this is uh, x plus 3y equal to 30 line and uh, next we need to find a re, uh, okay this is a usual x graph and y graph so we know this thing now we need to find region r which uh, supports this constraint so first the constraint is 3x plus 4y less than 60 so 3x plus 4y less than 60 will be this region towards the left of this uh, line so this this will be it uh, then the other thing is the next one is simply 
re x plus 3 by less than 30 so x plus 3 by less than 30 will be region downwards towards uh, downwards of that line so given by this blue region as you can see this uh, green region is a combination of two things and we know that uh, this whole thing uh, it must be uh, in the first quadrant since x y x comma y must be greater than zero so the region is uh, bounded in between this this thing so this is a let's say this is o this is b this is c so the region inside this this region is what we are interested in this is a region r which satisfies the given constraints so we need to maximize profit p in this region equation so according to corner point method uh, what uh, what it tells is that if you have a bounded region r and we need to find the maximum or minimum value of a linear expression like a j p equal to a x plus b y something like that a x plus b y if we need to maximize or minimize this thing uh, then we will find the maximum or minimum at the corner points of the bounded region r so corner points are simply uh, a o c and b so at each point let's uh, try to note down the, what is the profit we get a point is simply uh, in, this is a is 10 com, 0 comma 10 then this uh, c is intersection of both points that is 3x plus 4y equal to 60 and then there is x plus 3y equal to 30 so if you make it three times this will become 9 this will become 90 if you subtract this we get 5y equal to 30 so 30 plus y equal to 6 if y equal to 6 then x will become 3x plus 24 equal to 60 so this is 24 then we get x equal to 36 by 3 12 so this will be 12 comma 6 point so we have 12 comma 6 then this is uh, simply 520 comma 0 this is 0 comma 0 so we have this uh, four points a is 0 comma 10 o is 0 comma 0 c is simply uh, 12 comma 6 and b is uh, 20 comma 0 at each point let's find p p will be given as at this point uh, what is a p p is given 8000 x plus 12000 y uh, so that is 12,000 into 10 is 1 lakh 20,000. At 0, 0, it's 0. At 12, 6, it's 12, 98,000. Plus 72,000. This is simply 1,000. 72 plus 98 is 170. So 1 lakh 70,000. And at this point, it's uh, simply nine uh, sixteen thousand. Sorry, one lakh sixty thousand. Twenty into eight. Sorry, twenty into eight. Yeah, one lakh sixty thousand. So, as you can see, the highest is at C. That is twelve comma six. So we need to make twelve models. Uh, twelve model. A and. Uh, 6 model B so the it when we make 12 or 12 model a pieces and 6 model B pieces we get the maximum profit of 1 lakh 70 thousand